What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to show you the simplest way you can do wire removal instead of Adobe After Effects. If you don't know what wire removal is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the process of removing wires in your footage, and wires are used a lot of the time in Hollywood when actors are doing gravity-defying stunts, and then in post-production, what they do is they remove these wires and then replace the background with something else. And sometimes wire removal can be more complex than others. This is going to be one of the simplest ways you can do it. I'm actually going to show two ways ways you can do it in this video. One is a little bit more complex, but this is a major technique used in Hollywood. Even with AI tools coming out, a lot of the time they have to do this manual cleanup work. And this is a really simple way you can do that and remove those wires for those gravity defying stunts if you have those in your film. Before we dive in, if you've been following our channel, you probably know that we're getting ready to launch a brand new visual effects app for filmmakers and visual effects artists called FX Soup. We're incredibly excited about it and would love your support. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, you can sign up for free to get launch updates at www.fxsoupapp.com. So anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot of practice footage for wire removal of people doing gravity-defying stunts, but it was pretty easy to find a couple of videos where we can apply these wire removal concepts. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be removing the wire from this footage here of this rock climber. So you can see this is our footage that we're going to be removing our wire from. So we'll just remove the wire from here all the way to the base over here, and it'll look like he's almost floating in the air. Now, obviously you can remove these wires using very basic cleanup techniques with masking, but the easiest way to do this is actually a built-in tool within After Effects, which as you can probably guess, has a similar name to the effect we are trying to do here. So if we just type in wire under the effects and presets panel here, we'll actually see here, we have an effect here called CC simple wire removal. So this is going to be a very simple way to do this. So let's go ahead and just drag this onto our clip here. And I had two other clips here that I was using as examples, but I'll go ahead and remove that. And this effect is fairly intuitive. You can see we have two different points here that pop up when you select this effect. And pretty much how this works is you grab these two points and you line up one to the end of the wire and you line up the other to the beginning of the wire. So we'll do something like this. And then once you line it up as best you can, you can just slowly increase the thickness of this effect here. And already you can see we have removed that wire on this specific frame. Now, obviously if we go forward, those points aren't tracked. So this is kind of where the manual tedious work comes in. But what you do here is you line up those two points and increase the thickness. And then you can also play around with the slope and mirror blend. The slope kind of stretches the pixels more. And to show you guys kind of what these other two effects do here, I'll actually use a different background. I'll show you guys kind of the concept here with this footage. So I'll just show you kind of in a different background for a second. We'll just drag this onto this clip and drag these points just on this part of the wire here. And again, this is just for the sake of this example to show you guys what the effect is doing on a different background. Since that background was just one color, this will be more apparent. So I'll just drag those are point A and point B point there. And I'll just increase the thickness till we remove that wire. And then if we just zoom in here, you can kind of see that our pixels are being kind of distorted in between our two points here. So if you can see if we just increase this, what's happening is just kind of merging those pixels on either side of the wire there to kind of fake the removal of the wire. And then you can change kind of the slope here, which kind of stretches out the pixels more. So I'll go ahead and just increase the thickness a lot. You can see what this uh, slope does is it stretches the pixels way out and you can play around with this. Obviously if it's at zero, it won't do anything, but then we just increase that just enough to hide the wire and then bring down the thickness to something that's correct as well. So usually you can leave the slope as is, but kind of this is the general idea. You can play around with the mirror blend as well, although 25% is pretty good, um, but this just kind of blends in, it kind of blends in the center point. If you crank that up, you can kind of find where that line is least noticeable. So if you crank it to 100%, you can see there's a little line there. And if you crank it to zero, you can also see there's a line there that's pretty apparent. But if you can find that balance where everything just kind of blends together, you get something where you've actually removed the wire and it's not noticeable. And then you have a variety of different options here for After Effects to interpret in between those two points. Displace is the best one, in my opinion. You can also do fade if you're doing some kind of uh, 
clean plate option, but we're not going to cover that in this video. Displace or displace horizontal tend to be the best ones to use in order to get this effect to work very quickly. So anyways, I'll go back to our original clip here and we've lined up our two points. Now all you have to do to remove this wire is keyframe both point A and point B throughout your clip. So I'll just go to the end of our clip here and I'll realign up our points after they've been keyframed and we'll line them up in a way where that wire looks removed, something like this. And it looks like we need to increase our thickness a tiny bit here. So just maybe I want to do something like seven. So we have two keyframes so far. Um, we'll add one in between these two keyframes and we'll allow the effect to just interpolate as much data as we can. So now we've removed that part. We'll go to the beginning of the clip. Once again, line up our wire removal effects here. Now, obviously it's good to line up the points as precisely as you can. If you ever have any doubts on if you should give a little bit more space here, I recommend you actually overdo the wire removal rather than come out here and show the base of the wire. And the reason for that is because even if we overdo this a little bit, we can actually come back in and take his hand and overlay that on top of the entire footage and just kind of uh, clean up that area. It's better just to remove as much as you can and then re-add things that might be a little distorted in a weird way. Like for example, sometimes it can get a little dirty where maybe the wire is going by his face and it's connected to his harness, for example. So you might need to put this here to remove that wire and you can see how that's distorting his face and kind of messing everything up. And you might be tempted to just put it over here, but then you're gonna to have to manually remove that wire anyway. So the better thing to do is actually just remove the entire wire if it were there, and then recomposite some of the face on top of that wire on another layer. So I hope that makes sense. Fortunately, this is a fairly simple shot that we're doing here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep keyframing our footage to remove our wire. And I'll probably just fast forward through this part of the video, but this is the general concept here and we'll see how it looks at the end here. And you'll notice how I'm choosing the next keyframe to be kind of in between our last two keyframes. And the reason for that is you don't want to just go over one frame and replace these keyframes because then you're not letting After Effects do the work for you. You want to just choose points in between your other keyframes so that After Effects will interpolate the movement of your point A and point B and you're going to actually save yourself a lot of work. Now, a lot of companies are developing AI tools to help with this, but a lot of the time you have to go in there and do it manually anyway. So just a little quick tip for you guys, allow After Effects to do that interpolation for you by spreading out your keyframes at first and then tweaking where it doesn't cover up the wire. And this is actually a pretty easy one because our background is all one color. In a second here, I'm gonna show you how to do this when your background has a little bit more of a texture difference to it. So this is obviously just pulling some of these pixels over the wire and then the other side over the wire as well. And it works really nicely because the background's all the same color. But if this were you know, a texture in the background, it could look a little wonky. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys another example on how you can fix that if you're having issues with this way to do it. But this is the easiest way to do it. And a lot of the time these wire removal effects effects are done in shots that were shot in a green screen studio, which is just perfect because you're just blending green on top of the wire, which is going to be keyed out anyway. And just like that, we have removed the wire from the shot. He looks like he's pretty much floating there. Now there's a little distortion here on the rock and you can do some cleanup on that by recompositing some of this rock over that area where you see some kind of distortion. But this is the simplest way you can remove those wires very quickly instead of After Effects. Now before we finish this video, I wanna show you guys one example where you actually have to use a clean plate instead of this uh, kind of displacement technique that I've been using here. And I'm gonna show you guys how exactly we can do this. So we're gonna to move to this clip right here. And it's just a clip of a cameraman on an easy rig. And just for the sake of this example, let's say we want to remove the wire on the easy rig here. So let's go ahead and try our original technique so we can find our wire removal effect here. And we'll just go here, drag that on, and again, line up our two points to our wire. I'm gonna do it quick and dirty here for the sake of this tutorial. Let's just line this up as best we can increase the thickness a bit. We start removing that wire, something like that looks pretty good. We can kind of play around with the slope and mirror blend to blend in those edges. And then let's start adding some points on our shot here. So I've keyframed point A and point B, and we'll just start lining this up here to remove that wire.
All right, so we've added our keyframes for point A and point B. Now, it doesn't do a bad job, but you can tell there's some distortion happening where we have removed our wire for the camera. So rather than doing the default removal style of displace that uh, is on this simple wire removal effect, what we can actually utilize instead is just a clean plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch our uh, removal style to fade. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us an alpha channel in between our two uh, point A and point B here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to replace this alpha channel with a clean plate of the background. So to make our clean plate, I'm going to duplicate our main footage here. So press Command D while it's selected. Then I'll remove our CCY removal from this secondary clip. And then I'll rename this clean plate. And then we'll go ahead and scroll through our footage here. And what we want to do is we want to recreate our background behind the cameraman on this shot. So we're going to do a little bit of paint work. So I'll find a frame here, probably right here is pretty good. I'll mark it there and I'll right click our clean plate layer. I'll go to time, freeze frame. And now we have frozen this frame here. And now we can double click this and we're gonna click on our clone stamp tool. And we're going to start recreating this background. So essentially removing the cameraman from this footage. So I'll press option to select the source of our paint tool. And I'll just start removing our camera as well as our cameraman from this part of the footage. Now you can generate your clean plate in any way you want. You can use some generative fill if you'd like. But the whole point here is to try and remove our cameraman here. And I'm gonna be pretty quick with it here for the sake of this tutorial. And specifically, we want our clean plate background to be clean where this wire shows up. So I don't need to remove necessarily our cameraman all the way down here, but this is looking pretty good. And I'm just alt clicking where I want that source of the clone stamp tool to be. And just removing our cameraman here, as well as his rig. Just focusing on cleaning up where that wire is going to be throughout the shot. So you might need to remove more of the background than I'm doing here, but this should be pretty good. So yeah, this should be pretty good. Now what I'm going to do, uh, well, first of all, we need to take all of our clone stamp information and drag this to the beginning of our composite. So it goes throughout the entire thing. And then now what we want to do is we want to track this freeze frame on top of our footage here so that as the camera pans, the clean plate tracks with it. So to do that, we'll go back to our original footage in our comp, and we want to remember that this point in our timeline where our clean plate was frozen, you know, I'll just mark it by making the clean plate end there. Uh, so we know kind of where we froze our frame. Now I'll go back to our steady cam shot. We'll navigate to our tracker here, open up our tracker, and I'll click on track motion. We'll track just the rotation and position of our camera here. We'll find two points. So I'll track this corner of this light in the background. Nice point of contrast is what you're looking for. And then for our second track point, do this little clamp right there. Okay, so now we have our two track points. What I'm going to do is I'll track forward on our clip here to the end of our scene, and then we'll track backwards. This might mess with our track here a bit. Let's see. Now we have tracked our footage. Let's add a new null object. So go to layer, new, null object. This will be for tracking our clean plate onto our background. So I'll edit the target of my tracker. We'll go to null three, select null three, and then okay. And then we will apply this tracking data to both the X and Y axis of this null object. And now, as you can see here, if we turn our clean plate off and we scroll through our scene, our null object is tracked to our shot. And finally, what we can do is we can navigate to where we froze our frame for the clean plate, which is right here. And we can now, at this point in our timeline, parent our clean plate to our null object. And now that we have parented our clean plate, we can once again drag the freeze frame of our clean plate all the way over since we don't have to remember that point in our timeline anymore. And then now we can activate our clean plate and move it below our steady cam. And now you can see what's happening here. Our alpha channel from our simple wire removal effect where we've choose the removal style to fade. We're actually seeing through that alpha channel to our clean plate. Now noticing a little bit of kind of distortion there. And one thing we can do is kind of feather the edges of our alpha channel here. So I'll just go while our main footage is selected, I'll go to effect matte and we'll do a matte choker, I believe. Yes, matte choker. And then we can increase the softness of our mat here to help everything blend in a bit more. You want to mess with our gray level softness. You can kind of play around right with these. I think the gray level softness did our work for us. 
So you can see it's just kind of feathering in those edges. You got to kind of play with it here. And now I've just kind of adjusted our matte choker settings to kind of fade in our edges a bit more. And then I'm just increasing the thickness here to let the uh, clean plate blend in a bit nicer. So you can see now we have removed that wire entirely from our shot. And the thing with cleanup work like this is a lot of the time you remove stuff and then you have to add things back in. So now that we have removed the wire nicely, you can see that our wire removal also is affecting our monitor on the cameraman. So to fix that, we'll have to duplicate our footage and roto out some portions of our live action shot and recomposite that on top of everything. You know what, I'll go ahead and just show you guys how we can add our monitor back in now. So I'll just duplicate our footage once more. We're gonna call this one monitor roto. We're gonna remove all of our effects from this shot. And then I'm just going to use the roto tool here, roto brush, double click this and we will roto out our monitor. I'm gonna again do it quick and dirty here. Um, and we're just gonna kind of interpolate through our scene here, just holding command and going over here and we're going to roto out our monitor like so. Of course, you can also do this manually with like a mask or something, but this is the general idea. There we go. We will click on the freeze button. After Effects will freeze all of our roto brush data and now as you can see here if we go back into our composite now you can see that we've actually added our monitor back in with this rotor layer right here so if you end up taking out more than you intend you'll have to do a little more cleanup like that but anyways guys those are the two simplest ways to do wire removal inside of adobe after effects the first way is super simple if you have a kind of constant color background the easiest way is to just use that cc simple wire removal effect on the display setting and you can remove those wires pretty quickly the other way requires a little bit more fine tuning, but also works with a more distinct background. The final and most advanced way to do this would be similar to our second way of doing this with the clean plate, but actually recreating the 3D environment and projecting the clean plate onto geometry in the background. So then as you do more complex camera moves, those wires can be removed as well. And you can kind of see through to that clean plate and it all lines up much better. But anyways, guys, those are the two simplest ways to do wire removal inside of Adobe After Effects. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to learn next on the channel and I'll see you next time.